Hey, hi guys, I'm Naval Yemal. So in this video, we are going to see about the flow controls. Flow controls comes with uh, three different, uh, uh, categorized in three different ways. One is your conditional statements. In conditional statements, you can use uh, if statements, you can use if else statements, you can use if I live statements. So these are a uh, completely new when you compare to any other programming language. You can see this only in Python. And the fourth is you can use if I live and else also. So these are all regarding the conditional statements. So if you look at the second statement, that is your iterative statements or iterative statements, whatever you pronounce. So in this iterative statements or iterative statements, we have two forms that is for loop and second is your while loop. And the third type of statements, what we have categorized is your transfer statements. In transfer statement, we generally have break, second is continue, third is pass. So if you just look at the flow control or control flow, all are in this only, like we have these types only. And if you are thinking like, a very switch so if you are coming from any other programming language and if you are thinking like switch we do not have a switch in this so there is no switch and also there is no do while concept also if you are thinking like do while if you are coming from C++ where we use while and do while but in the Python we do not have switch also and we do not have the do while and go to statements is also not there in Python. Let us start with the conditional statements and thus we'll see about if and if else in the session now. So let me make a note here. So first we'll see about the conditional statements. We call it as a conditional as well as a selective statements also. Select statements or selection statements so in this we are going to use if if else and if I live and so on okay you can I uh, nested also if I live and else also so let us look at the if statement first so why and when we are using if so if statement if we have any condition that is if the condition is satisfied then we'll print that statement for example let me show you a very simple example if i write a equal to 100 and b equal to 50 and if i say if if and if i ask you these conditions like a is greater than b hey is a greater than b if it is true if it is true then you print print a is greater than b okay so if we have only one condition then we take if if we have two conditions we take if else if we have more than two conditions then we take if i live or if i live and else Okay, so here you need to be very careful when you are using a conditional statements or any selective statements or iterative statements. Here, uh, uh, if you are comparing Python with any other programming language, we use a parenthesis brackets to enclose the code in a body. But when you are Comparing that with Python, we do not use any parenthesis bracket or any semicolons or colons here, but 
when you want to enclose that in one body here we use a colon colon here once you uh, like we are using that colon after a condition once you specify a colon here we are using an indentation so that indentation nothing but it's some spaces at the beginning of the line so before you write a print statement you are using a indentation so what does it mean so this indentation means that you are saying that this print statement belongs to this if if you are not providing any indentation here this will show you an error you can see that there will be an error it is expecting a indentation block so you can just use a tab to get a indentation so if i run this now it will check whether the condition is true or false hey, if it is 100 is greater than b that is 50 then it is showing that a is greater than 50 what if if i write a 10 here and just think on this what output you will get so our condition gets failed here you can see 10 is greater than 50 your condition fails and if you execute this you will not get anything you will not get anything because we haven't specified any other condition that if if this condition fails you print me the second condition i did not specify anything so you do not get any output for this if i write suppose if i edit this and if i write thousand year if this condition is satisfied you will get this output otherwise you will not get any output so let me copy this and do a small change in this i'll write one more print statement print sorry print and i'll say end of program okay now you need to think this print i have not specified any indentation here this is outside the indentation so what does it mean so it will check the condition a is greater than b if it is greater it will print this after it prints a is greater than b the cursor goes to the next line and it will print this also so every time whether the condition is true or false this print statement that is uh, the end of the program will execute let me show you so irrespective of the condition it will execute if i write uh, suppose if i remove this uh, like 10 year and if i run this now you can see the condition is not satisfied so it will not execute which is inside the if statement but end of the program is always executed this is very simple i hope you are getting this so what if the condition do not satisfy then i am talking about this second condition that is your if statement so let me copy this if and i'll use next condition that is else so if the condition satisfied you print me this if it doesn't satisfy then you print me the else statement so actually it is if Yeah, you can see here I have taken the next else. So else I don't need any condition because only one condition is there. If this condition is satisfied, I will be getting this output. If it is not satisfied, I will be getting this. Okay, very, very simple and very basic. So let me run this. So it will satisfy the first condition. So it is printing A is greater than B. If I change the value of A as 10, and if i run this so this condition is not satisfied if it is not satisfied you will be printing the else statement so this is how if and else works very simple so the next uh, next question is suppose i want to take the inputs from the user i don't want to specify or i don't want to change this i want to specify the input from the user so we have already seen how to take this so i'll convert this input into the integer and I'll say the user enter any number or enter first number. I'll say in this way and first number and in the B I'll use integer. I'll convert this input 
to an integer and I'll say enter second number. So we are taking the inputs from the user and then checking it with if statement. If it is satisfied, it will print A is greater than B. If it doesn't satisfy or doesn't uh, take the condition, satisfy the condition, it will print the else statement. So let me write here 55 and let me write here 66. And it will say that B is greater than A. And if you want to print any message, irrespective of the condition you can specify it here that is print you can specify any message here that is end okay so irrespective of either a is greater or b is greater you will be getting this print statement that is end okay so i'll write 20 here so if i take uh, suppose 10 here and if i run this you can see is a is greater than b and end suppose if the user enters both the values same what will happen so just think on it if the user enters both the values as 10 and 10 what will happen so if the user enters 10 and if he enters 10 i did not press enter now just think and let me know then i'll show you the output exactly so it is not satisfying this a is greater than b it is not satisfying but you can see here b if this is not satisfying b is greater than a it is showing b is greater than a and then it is printing n so actually this is a wrong code because this is not true because both are equal so we need to specify one more condition that is that comes in i live if both are equal then you print that b is equal to a so we have to if there are more than one condition if there are more than one condition that is a is greater than b you can print either this or this if a is equal to b that is the second condition then we go for i live if i live and else okay guys i hope you enjoyed this session so if you like this content like this video please Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Keep learning.